Peterhouse, Cambridge. Peterhouse is the oldest constituent college of the University of Cambridge in England, founded in 1284 by Hugh de Balsham, Bishop of Ely. Today, Peterhouse has 254 undergraduates, 116 full-time graduate students, and 54 fellows. It is quite often erroneously referred to as Peterhouse College, although the correct name is simply Peterhouse. Peterhouse alumni are notably eminent within the natural sciences, including scientists Lord Kelvin, Henry Cavendish, Charles Babbage, James Clerk Maxwell, James Dewar, Frank Whittle, and five Nobel Prize winners in science, Sir John Kendrew, Sir Aaron Klug, Archer Martin, Max Perutz, and Michael Levitt. Peterhouse alumni also include the Archbishop of Canterbury, John Whitgift, Lord Chancellors, Lord Chief Justices, Prime Ministers, as well as Oscar-winning film director Sam Mendes and comedian David Mitchell. Peterhouse is one of the wealthiest and most traditional colleges in Cambridge, with assets exceeding £320 million. It is one of the few Oxbridge colleges that still seeks to insist that its members attend communal dinners known as Hall. Hall takes place in two sittings, with the second known as Formal Hall, which consists of a three-course candlelit meal and which must be attended wearing suits and gowns. At Formal Hall, the students rise as the fellows proceed in a gong is rung, and two Latin graces are read. Peterhouse also hosts a biennial white tie ball as part of May Week celebrations. In recent years, Peterhouse has been ranked as one of the highest achieving colleges in Cambridge, although academic performance tends to vary year to year due to its small population. In the past five years, it has sat in the top 10 of the 29 colleges within the Tompkins table. Peterhouse sat at 4th in 2018 and 2019. History Foundation The foundation of Peterhouse dates to 1280, when letters patent from Edward I. dated Berg, Suffolk, 24 December 1280 allowed Hugh de Balsham to keep a number of scholars in the hospital of St. John, where they were to live according to the rules of the scholars of Merton. After disagreement between the scholars and the brethren of the hospital, both requested a separation. As a result, in 1284 Balsham transferred the scholars to the present site with the purchase of two houses just outside the then Trumpington Gate to accommodate a master and fourteen worthy but impoverished fellows. The Church of St. Peter without Trumpington Gate was to be used by the scholars. Bishop Hugo de Balsham died in 1286, bequeathing 300 marks that were used to buy further land to the south of St. Peter's Church, on which the college's hall was built. The earliest surviving set of statutes for the college was given to it by the then Bishop of Ely, Simon Montacute, in 1344. Although based on those of Merton College, these statutes clearly display the lack of resources then available to the college. They were used in 1345 to defeat an attempt by Edward Roman III to appoint a candidate of his own as scholar. In 1354-55, William Moschett set up a trust that resulted in nearly 70 acres, 280,000 in two of land at Fenditon being transferred to the college by 1391-92. The college's relative poverty was relieved in 1401 when it acquired the Advocacy and Rectory of Hinton through the efforts of Bishop John Fordham and John Newton. During the reign of Elizabeth I, the college also acquired the area formerly known as Volney's Croft, which today is the area of St. Peter's Terrace, the William Stone Building, and the Scholar's Garden. 16th century onwards. Modern day. In the 1980s, Peter House acquired an association with conservative Thatcherite politics. Morris Cowling and Roger Scruton were both influential fellows of the college, and are sometimes described as key figures in the so-called Peterhouse right and intellectual movement linked to Margaret Thatcher. The conservative politicians Michael Portolo and Michael Howard both studied at Peterhouse. During this period, which coincided with the mastership of Hugh Trevor Roper, the college endured a period of significant conflict among the fellowship, particularly between Trevor Roper and Cowling. 
Trevor Roper feuded constantly with Cowling and his allies, while launching a series of administrative reforms. Women were admitted in 1983 at his urging. The British journalist Neil Esterson summarized the quarrel between Cowling and Trevor Roper as Lord Dacker. Far from being a romantic Tory ultra, turned out to be an anti-clerical Whig with a preference for free speech over superstition. He did not find it normal that fellows should wear mourning on the anniversary of General Franco's death. For the next seven years, Trevor Roper battled to suppress the insurgency of the Cowling clique a strong mind trapped in its own glutinous frustrations, and to bring the college back to a condition in which students might actually want to go there. Neither side won this struggle, which soon became a campaign to drive Trevor Roper out of the college by grotesque rudeness and insubordination. In a review of Adam Sisman's 2010 biography of Trevor Roper, The Economist wrote, that picture of Peter House in the 1980s was startling, stating the college had become under Cowling's influence a sort of right-wing lunatic asylum, who were determined to sabotage Trevor Roper's reforms. In 1987 Trevor Roper retired complaining of seven wasted years. Peter House likely was a source of inspiration for Tom Sharp's Porterhouse Blues. Buildings and Grounds Peter House has its main site situated on Trumpington Street, to the south of Cambridge's town centre. The main portion of the college is just to the north of the Fitzwilliam Museum, and its grounds run behind the museum. The buildings date from a wide variety of times, and have been much altered over the years. The college is reputed to have been at least partially destroyed by fire in 1420. The entrance of the college has shifted through its lifetime as well with the change being principally the result of the demolition of the row of houses that originally lined Trumpington Street on the east side of the college. In 1574, a map shows the entrance being on the south side of a single main court. The modern entrance is to the east, straight onto Trumpington Street. First Court The area closest to Trumpington Street is referred to as First Court. It is bounded to the north by the Burroughs building added in the 18th century, to the east by the street, to the south by the Porter's Lodge, and to the west by the chapel. Above the Porter's Lodge is the Pern Library, named in honor of Andrew Pern, a former master, and originally built in 1590 to house the collection that he donated to the college. It was extended towards the road in 1633 and features interior woodwork that was added in 1640, 148 by William Ashley, who was also responsible for similar woodwork in the chapel. Electric lighting was added to the library in 1937. The area above the Pern Library was used as the Ward Library, the college's general purpose library from 1952 to 1984, but that has now been moved to its own building in the northwest corner of the college site. Burroughs Building, Inks Building, Inks Building. The Burroughs Building is situated at the front of the college, parallel to the chapel. It is named after its architect, Sir James Burrough, the master of Caius, and was built in 1736. It is one of several Cambridge Neo Palladian buildings designed by Burrough. Others include the remodeling of the hall and old court at Trinity Hall and the chapel at Clare College. The building is occupied by fellows and college offices. Old Court Old Court lies beyond the chapel cloisters. To the south of the court is the dining hall, the only college building that survives from the 13th century. Between 1866 and 1870, the hall was restored by the architect George Gilbert Scott, Jr. Under Scott, the timber roof was repaired and two old parlors merged to form a new combination room. The stained glass windows were also replaced with pre-Raphaelite pieces by William Morris, Ford Maddox Brown, and Edward Byrne Jones. The fireplace originally built in 1618 was restored with tiles by Morris, including depictions of St. Peter and Hugo de Balsham. The hall was extensively renovated in 2006-7. The north and west sides of Old Court were added in the 15th century and classicized in the 18th century. The chapel makes up the fourth, east side to the court. Rooms in Old Court 
are occupied by a mixture of fellows and undergraduates. The north side of the court also house Peterhouse's and CR Middle Combination Room. Chapel, viewed from the main entrance to Peterhouse on Trumpington Street, the altar end of the chapel is the most immediately visible building. The chapel was built in 1628, when the master of the time Matthew Wren Christopher Wren's uncle demolished the college's original hostels. Previously, the college had employed the adjacent church of St. Mary the Less as its chapel. The chapel was consecrated on 17 March 1632 by Dr. Francis White, Bishop of Ely. The building's style reflects the contemporary religious trend towards Arminianism. The Laudian Gothic style of the chapel mixes Renaissance details, but incorporated them into a traditional Gothic building. The chapel's Renaissance architecture contains a piano altarpiece and a striking ceiling of golden suns. Its placement in the center of one side of a court, between open colonnades, is unusual, being copied for a single other college Emmanuel by Christopher Wren. The original stained glass was destroyed by parliamentarians in 1643, with only the East Window's crucifixion scene based on Rubens's La Coupe de Lance surviving. The current side windows are by Max A. Miller, and were added in 1855. The cloisters on each side of the chapel date from the 17th century. Their design was classicized in 1709, while an ornamental porch was removed in 1755. The Peterhouse part books, music manuscripts from the early years of the chapel, survive and are one of the most important collections of Tudor and Jacobean church music. The chapel choir, one of the smallest in Cambridge, has recently attracted wider interest for its regular performances of this material, some of which has not been heard since the 16th century. The restoration of the 1763 John Snetzler organ in the chapel was by Noel Mander. The first person buried in the chapel was Samuel Horn, a fellow of the college. Horn was probably chaplain. Gisborne Court Gisborne Court is accessible through an archway leading from the west side of Old Court. It was built in 1825-6. Its cost was met with part of a benefaction of 1817 from the Reverend Francis Gisborne, a former fellow. The court is built in white brick with stone dressings in a simple Gothic revival style from the designs of William McIntosh Brooks. Only three sides to the court were built, with the fourth side being a screen wall. The wall was demolished in 1939, leaving only its footing. Rooms in Gisborne Court are mainly occupied by undergraduates. Many previously housed distinguished alumni, including Lord Kelvin in I Staircase. Whittle Building The Whittle Building, named after Petrian Frank Whittle, opened on the western side of Gisborne Court in early 2015. Designed in neo-Gothic style by John Simpson Architects, it contains in suite undergraduate accommodation, a student bar and common room, a function room, and a gym. Its design recalls that of the original screen wall that once stood in its place. Fen Court Beyond Gisborne Court is Fen Court, a 20th century building partially on stilts. Fen Court was built between 1939 and 1941 from designs by H. C. Hughes and his partner Peter Bicknell. It was amongst the earliest buildings in Cambridge designed in the style of the modern movement pioneered by Walter Gropius at the Bauhaus. The carved panel by Anthony Foster over the entrance doorway evokes the mood in Britain as the building was completed. It bears the inscription de profundis clamavi mechusel out of the depths have I cried out 1940. These are the first words of Psalm 130, one of the penitential psalms. Alongside the inscription is a depiction of St. Peter being saved from the sea. An adjacent bathhouse, known as the Birdwood Building, used to make up the western side of Gisborne Court. This was also designed by Hughes and Bicknell, and was built between 1932 and 1934. It was demolished in 2013 to make way for the new Whittle Building. Ward Library, Library The northwest corner of the main site is occupied by former Victorian warehouses containing the Ward Library, as well as a theater and function room. 
The building it is housed in was originally the university's Museum of Classical Archaeology and was designed by Basil Champneys in 1883. It was adapted to its modern purpose by Robert Potter in 1982 and opened in its current form as a library two years later. In recent years, the final gallery of the old museum building has been converted into a reading room named the Gunn Gallery after Dr. Chan Gunn. Gardens. While officially being named the Grove, the grounds to the south of Gisborne Court have been known as the Deer Park since deer were brought there in the 19th century. During that period it achieved fame as the smallest deer park in England. After the First World War the deer sickened and passed their illness on to stock that had been imported from the Duke of Portland's estate at Welbeck Abbey in an attempt to improve the situation. There are no longer any deer. The remainder of the college's gardens divide into areas known as the Fellows' Garden, just to the south of Old Court, and the Scholars' Garden, at the south end of the site, surrounding the Williamstone Building. Williamstone Building The Williamstone Building stands in the Scholars' Garden and was funded by a £100,000 request from Williamstone, 1857-1958, a former scholar of the college. Erected in 1963 4 to a design by Sir Leslie Martin and Sir Colin St. John Wilson, it is an eight-story brick tower housing eight fellows and 24 undergraduates. It has been refurbished, converting the rooms to in suite. Trumpington Street The college also occupies a number of buildings on Trumpington Street. Masters Lodge the Master's Lodge is situated across Trumpington Street from the college and was bequeathed to the college in 1727 by a fellow, Dr. Charles Beaumont, son of the 30th Master of the College, Joseph Beaumont. It is built in red brick in the Queen Anne style. The Hostel The Hostel is situated next to the Master's Lodge. It was built in a Neo-Georgian style in 1926 from designs by Thomas Henry Lyon. The hostel was intended to be part of a larger complex, but only one wing was built. It currently houses undergraduates and some fellows. During World War Roman II, the London School of Economics was housed in the hostel and nearby buildings at the invitation of the master and fellows. Cosson Court Behind the hostel lies Cosson Court, which provides accommodation for fellows, mature, postgraduate, and married students. The court is named for John Cosson, 1594-1672, who was successively master of Peter House, vice-chancellor of Cambridge University, and Prince Bishop of Durham. St. Peter's Terrace This row of Georgian townhouses houses first-year undergraduates, fellows, and some graduate students in basement flats. It is directly in front of the Williamstone building. Arms The college has, during its history, used five different coats of arms. The one currently in use has two legitimate blazons. The first form is the original grant by Robert Cook, Clarence Hughes, King of Arms, in 1575, or four pallet gules within a border of the last charged, with eight ducal coronets of the first. The college did, however, habitually use a version with three pallets, and this was allowed at the Herald's visitation of Cambridgeshire in 1684. The latter version with three pallets was officially adopted by the governing body in 1935. The construction of the arms is that of the founder, Hugo de Balsham, surrounded by the crowns of the Sea of Ely. Grace Peter House and Jesus College are the only two colleges to have two separate halves to their grace, the first being a standard grace, and the second a quotation of 1 John 4, 16. People associated with Peter House Members of Peter House as masters, fellows including honorary fellows or students, are known as petrines. Carl W. Schweizer, historian and author. Noble laureates Peter House has five noble laureates associated with it, either as former students or fellows. Gallery